Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The Kennedy Center will present Alan Menken and Howard Ashman's hit musical Little Shop of Horrors from October 24th through the 28th under the direction of Mark Brokaw. It features a stellar cast led by Megan Hilty and Josh Radner. And we stop by the rehearsal room to meet the company and bring you a sneak peek. joined at the hip in this show. You know, we practically are. Yeah. <laughs> What's it like singing these songs by Alan Menken and Howard Ashman? Oh, man. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, you, sometimes you forget how, yeah. how, uh, how incredibly talented these composers yeah. are, mm -hmm. but then when you listen to this music, the fact that it was written so long ago and it still sounds great, you know, 20, 30 years later. These harmonies, yeah. these lyrics are iconic. Yeah. You know, the sound is so lush and beautiful. And the funny thing was, I was like, there's no ensemble. It's just like the seven of us in right. here sounding mm -hmm. more, and it's we're, amazing. We're almost like, well, we are the Greek chorus, mm -hmm. but also at the same time, we set the reality of where everything is happening in Skid Row. So we bring the realness, mm -hmm. the soul, and the, the storytelling. So mm -hmm. I love it. Well, first of all, welcome back to Little Shop of Horrors. I mean, the original Seymour, iconic, and now you're Mr. Bushnick. What's it like being in the room? A little surreal, a little surreal. It's, uh, you know, it's brought back just flooded with, with memories, Lo uh, just flooded. I mean, it's a big part of my life. I don't know if you're aware that I'm married to Howard Ashman's assistant. I met her on the show, Connie Grappo. So it's, we've been together 30, next year's 35, 36 years we'll be married. So it's, it's always been a big part of my life since since the beginning. So it's never really gone too far away. But to come back to the show, I think the last time I did, I did it in Florida. There was a production in Coral Gables with Hunter Foster and uh, Alice. That was at least 12 years ago. But so I've been away a long time. But that one was like, that one was like a blip. This one feels new and fresh and uh, I'm excited, you know, the Kennedy Center. I don't think I'm going to get Kennedy Center honors, so this is this is pretty close. I, I have loved this character for so, 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 so long. So I am just having a ball. And also, I get to work with the most amazing, most beautiful, most talented, most gorgeous blonde on Broadway, Miss Megan Hilty. She's amazing. That's what I was waiting yes, for. That's yes, what yes, I was waiting for. That was the awesome. correct this, answer. Thank this you. This is awesome. You don't understand. What's it like working with this company? This co come on now. This is this company is awesome. Um, when I saw Megan's name, I lost my mind because I've only got to perform with Megan once, and that was in Smash, and she fell on the stage, and I had to pick her up. That was it. We didn't get to do anything else. So the fact that I actually be on stage with her and sing with her is great. Great. Nick Cadero and I met in 2014 during the Tony season and became friends and wanted to find a project. Finally did, and um, to be able to work with with Lee Wyckoff. I mean, I've been listening to him on that soundtrack for years. And then he walks in the door and I'm like, it's you. And he's looking at me like, why are you tripping? And I'm like, you're Lee Wyckoff. And then Josh Radner, I'm such a big fan. I'm such a big fan. And I mean, the girls, come on, these ladies. I mean, <laughs> when you hear them sing, it's, you are not ready. You are not ready. This, this show is great. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be a really, really fun night. How excited are you? Extraordinarily excited. I love this show. I've done it before in Kansas City ages ago, so it's nice to revisit it after a while. Um, but the Kennedy Center is a bucket list venue that I've always wanted to perform in. I've seen a few things there, and it's nice to get a chance to, to uh, perform there. Same role? Same role, yeah. Still have the jacket and the boots. So tell everybody who you're playing. I'm playing Oren Scrivello DDS and all. I'm playing a bunch of different characters, as this track does. Um, but yeah, just in all his maniacal, crazy... Uh, Reverie, so yeah, excited. This is fast, right? It's super fast. It's two weeks. 
Um, but thankfully, we have a room of extraordinarily, ta extraordinarily talented people, and we just can't wait to get to the venue and get going. How well did you know this show, Josh, before you started? There? I mean, I have strong memories of like watching the movie quite a bit when I was a kid. I felt like it was always kind of on when I was younger, and I, I rewatched it, and I, I, it's one of those movies that it's kind of just lodged in my subconscious somewhere. Um, and I, and I love the music. I, I knew a lot of the music. Some of it, some of the lesser known songs I've really had to drill, but the, the big songs are some of the best songs ever for musical theater. So I ask you, what's it like living in the world of Alan Menken and Howard Ashman? Um, well, it certainly invades your dreams and you're humming, you know, you're singing the songs to yourself as you fall asleep every night because it's super, super tuneful. Um, I mean that in the best way. Um, but it's also interesting. It's not, it's not facile or easy music. It's actually really character appropriate and you feel like the music and the lyrics are perfectly synced together and, and as an actor you're always looking for like how to slalom down the mountain appropriately and they, they always have the, gro the grooves are right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a really smartly written show. Well, I've, I've always wanted to do this show. Um, I've never gotten to do it. I came close to doing it once, uh, but it didn't work out. So I am like just thrilled that I get to do it here and at the Kennedy Center. It's one of my favorite places to do shows. And I've never done anything at the Eisenhower Theater. So I've like hopped around to, to all the different theaters. So I'm going to check this one off my list this time. What a great role. What's it like living in the world of Audrey and Alan Menken and Howard Ashman? It's amazing. It, they've, they've written this perfect score and script. And, um, and Audrey's just like this beautiful creature that is just like pure love and underneath her there's like underneath this like veneer of like what you think is something that's all put together you know she's just um somebody who desperately wants to be loved and loved and doesn't really believe that she deserves it so it's heartbreaking um but unfortunately something a lot of us can can connect to so